Hi, I'm Cam and welcome to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about sharing with you another capsule wardrobe video, but this time we're doing a collaboration <laughs> with Jamie from the YouTube channel Mademoiselle. Hi. <laughs> so Jamie and I both love fashion, but we also love having great pieces in our wardrobe that are the foundation to our wardrobes so that we get fantastic dollar per wear. Because when you get dressed in the morning, you want to feel good about the way you present yourself to the world. So we're going to be sharing with you and showing you what are the five key pieces of our wardrobes. And then we're going to be doing a little bit of a movie montage as we show you how we wear them, how we style them and what they look like. And of course, all the items are linked in the video description box down below. All right, Jamie, tell me about yourself and your YouTube channel and how you shop. So um, if you aren't familiar with me, um, I do a lot of style videos on my channel. So, <laughs> Thank you. so essentially I kind of talk a lot about um, how to get more mileage out of your closet because I think we all know we don't have endless bank accounts no. to go out and shop a lot. And it's even also, if we did, it's a waste of money. Yeah. You should, you should be not, investing more. Exactly. It's not, and also it's not sustainable. So that's something that I try to um, focus on a lot. So I do things like 20 ways to wear a particular item, just showing you how versatile those core basics in your closet can be. So when it comes to shopping for my my wardrobe I'm generally looking for those timeless items that I'll be able to remix with everything mm. else I already own. I Smart. Kind of, yeah so I try to shop within a particular color palette and I also think about what's going to be flattering on me and what will go with what I already have. Um, I also do what I call a 30 day shopping rule mm -hmm. and this is kind of my biggest trick when it comes to buying things that are going to be a lasting piece in your wardrobe so if I find something I like I have to wait at least 30 days before I can buy it. That is so sad. <laughs> that way I don't waste so much mm -hmm. money and usually you can get a discount by that time because once it's been in the stores mm. for a while they'll usually put a bit of a sale on so that is brilliant yeah okay that's, that's <laughs> what I do okay um now can you talk me through your pieces yeah so the items I've got here these are all things that you could wear with basically everything in your closet so I have your classic Breton striped top this is I actually, love that it's a men's top stop it <laughs> yeah shop in the men's section it's from Grana oh wow okay I love so, I love 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 that. I got one for Luke as well so we're <laughs> <laughs> So I love a bread and stripe top. I mean, I love Parisian style. It is mm. probably, you know, timeless. Most time yeah, exactly. Mm. So timeless. Uh, and it's the kind of um, ward key wardrobe pieces that you're going to be able to get a lot of wear out of again. So something like this, I really love pairing it with white because I think mm. it looks very fresh, mm. but it also looks great paired back with black, like black denim. Um, I wear this a lot with sort of a white mini skirt, even white shorts. I might even pair it with something sort of beige, throw a trench coat over the top. Mm, beautiful. Which is my next piece, great mm. classic trench. Um, I don't think you need to spend thousands of pounds, or sorry, thousands of dollars mm -hmm. on a um, trench coat. Right, I was, it's from Marks and Spencer. It's from you yeah, pounds. <laughs> yeah. It's, but, so this one's from m and and it's really good quality. Um, I think uh, it's all about sort of looking at the details, mm. looking at tailoring, and really spending your money quite wisely when it comes to making your purchases. So um, I have to say, I saw you wearing that on Instagram, and yeah. then I went online looking at all the different Marks and Spencer oh, got trench coats. Yeah. It's got beautiful ones in it, <laughs> <laughs> and it's good because it's also weatherproof as well. Being yeah. That nylon so mm -hmm. it means that you get caught in the rain. And the thing about a trench is you can even just wear it on your shoulders and it still looks so chic and you can also wear it as a dress as well. Exactly. Yeah. yeah very nice nice. Belt it. <laughs> um, so for me this is a really good transitional piece. Looks great with the stripes as I mentioned. I mean this is sort of a throw on jacket I wear with everything. Mm -hmm. Then the next staple for me is a really good midi skirt and I'm not going to recommend this particular one. Um, mm -hmm. I was telling you before that I think it's a extortionately priced with the quality. Um, this one's from Realization Pass so mm -hmm. there are dupes out there which I recommend over this, but I think just a really lovely midi skirt. Mm -hmm. I think they are really sexy, that sort of silhouette that they mm. give you, how they just skim over your curves. And I love how these pair with sweaters at the start of the season when it's colder. Oh, a nice chunky, yeah. Um, yeah like, like a big roll neck, neck or something oh, like that. Beautiful. So, yeah. so pretty. And then when it gets warmer, you could pair it with a little silk camisole mm. or with a t-shirt. So a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt just tucked mm. in with a 
um, sleeves rolled up. Yeah, yeah, so cute. So really easy to wear and again looks great with flats and also with heels. So love a good midi skirt for that. Um, this next piece is the technically the oldest piece in my closet. I haven't owned it the longest, but yeah. uh, I bought it from a friend because she wasn't wearing it. It's a really big oversized cashmere cardigan. That looks so, so comfortable. It's so <laughs> soft. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, the brand is actually defunct, unfortunately. It's, um, it was called To Sell With Love. But I love this because it's that cozy element. So yes. I can be wearing those lighter layers underneath, mm -hmm. throw this on over the top, and it's sort of an all year round piece for me. Because I say, it's almost like a jacket as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So I wear this in the winter as well. Mm -hmm. I'll just wear heavier layers underneath that. So um, I love that, and I love how big and oversized that's kind of got more of a Scandi vibe to it. Yes, yep. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And then, and then your, five, your fifth and final piece. Yeah, so my final piece is a pair of great sandals. Mm -hmm. So these are ones that I picked up recently um, on sale. I've actually been wanting to purchase them for probably two or three years. So okay. <laughs> you can kind of see I put a lot of thought into those basic pieces that I add to my closet, but I just found them they were a little bit expensive mm -hmm. full price. When I saw them on sale, I thought this is my golden opportunity. Yeah. Last pair of my size. So yeah. this is a sign. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Being black, they're classic, they go with everything. They're comfortable having a low block heel mm. and they're just a great one to take me into summer as well. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Well, when it comes to me shopping, I buy a lot of my stuff um, that pre-loved. Mm -hmm. I'm not refusing to use the word secondhand because some people turn their nose up. No, pre-loved pre is amazing. Is, That's what is, I do as well. Yeah, but I, I love so pre-loved. to you back as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it means I've got their money left over for saving or for investing. And uh, I buy a lot of stuff from high end on Facebook. Um, so, and also when I do buy things in the shops, um, I am take forever to buy. I will try something. I'll go back to that shop probably about three times. I will try it on a couple of times. I will research online all the different places where I could potentially get it cheaper or see if it's available in other styles. And also I'll go and look and see how different people have styled that particular item. Um, I'm looking. I the same it's, thing. It, I, I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm selling like, like, this. It's worse now. Yeah, I just say, I'm like, they're like, oh, here she comes again. She's gonna try it on again. We're gonna, you know, like, yeah. I feel bad, but I just, I can't. I can't hand over hard-earned money without knowing I'm going to love values and appreciate it. So that's my money mantra, okay? So for me, <laughs> um, I'll go backwards. I'm going to start with the shoes. Now, normally I live in um, Chanel Ballet flats, so which I buy secondhand because they're Ah, oh, well, most of them I buy secondhand. They are really yeah. expensive, and they're they become a major investment. Yeah, but they, I have to say, they for me that my foot they're so incredibly comfortable and they last forever. Mm -hmm. And if you take good care of them, get them resold. Um, maybe they're looking a bit tired, a bit of a face if they do last. But anyway, these ones are my Valentino Rock Stud Flats. Now, someone commented on YouTube and saying how much they love them as well because they said they're like jewelry for your shoes with yeah. all the different studs. So I really want to try and give my ballet flats a bit of a breather, a bit of a break because I've been living in them and get back into these and wear these in spring because they do really glam up an outfit and they look fantastic when you wear just all simple black because it adds a bit of sparkle and I guess... It's a statement piece. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I do I love that saying, they're like, jewelry for your feet. Yeah. So that's my Valentino. And I did actually buy those brand new, I will disclose, because they're really hard to buy second <laughs> Next is my beige colored skirt. Now this was actually given to me by my girlfriend, Georgie from the Grace Tales. She had it at home, wasn't wearing it. Um, I had to get it taken, uh, like altered, um, because I was pregnant when she gave it to me. Um, but this is a really comfortable beige skirt. Again, it goes with whites, blacks, navy blues, greys, light blues, like pastels, everything. It's a really versatile piece. Is that a linen one as well? It is, yeah, yes. beautiful. Sits yeah. on the hips, just not too short, not too long, like really flattering. I absolutely love this. Like I felt really bad taking it. She's like, have it, have it. I'm like, I'll give you some money. She's like, no, no. But um, love, love, love. Um, and then the next piece is this brand. I don't actually know how to pronounce. Oh no, sorry, Vanessa Bruno. This was a little excessive um, when I bought it, but I loved it, and I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Again, I looked everywhere online to try and find it. Um, it is just a Vanessa Bruno um, cotton lace top. It's really delicate. I love the frills at the top. You would have seen me wearing this in a lot of my YouTube videos. I love the, the where it stops on the arm, really like, slimming to the arm. And just a really pretty feminine piece because I do wear a lot of classic like basics. This kind of is still basic, but it works with so many items in my wardrobe. So even though it was expensive, I've actually got fantastic wear out of this. Yeah. 
I and feel like that's that's the way that I shop as well. So sometimes I will buy something that is um, what I consider a really big splurge. Yeah. But if it's something I'm wearing all the time, then it is worth it. Because exactly. as long as you're getting the wear out of it, getting joy from mm. that piece, then it's there's value in it. Yeah. And you've got to like self love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, next piece is my pleather, so that the vegan watches will be happy. Um, Zara jacket. Now this is, I think, coming close to being eight years old. Wow. Um, but it shows you how much, like, you just. It I looks like it's in great condition. condition. As well. you really I think there's baby it. spew on it somewhere. <laughs> um, but it's it mama. really yeah, mama, definitely my life. But um, it's just so comfortable. It's so timeless. Um, I get co comments about it. Um, you know, I'd love to go and buy a beautiful Balenciaga leather jacket, but why would I when I'm just so happy with this? And I think it cost a couple of hundred dollars at the time, which when I bought it eight years ago was a lot of money to me. And again, same thing, I went in about three or four times, had to take a friend to finally make that purchase to get her uh, to check that she thought it was a good investment because I was umming and ahhing for I so did long. I photos my Yeah, yeah. And say, I was going to Tongo, what do you think? Um, <laughs> and often, most stuff, often he hates it. Um, but yeah, again, I wear it on my shoulders open, just and I can wear this with like a beautiful cocktail dress, mm -hmm. and that just over my shoulders. Or I can wear it with jeans, like something I'm wearing today. Um, wear it with tracksuit pants, like black tracksuit pants and sneakers. Um, even over my active wear, I just it's been such a fantastic piece and. Um, it feels good also that I haven't injured, hurt or injured or used an animal in, in this purchase. My next capsule wardrobe piece I'm actually wearing is my frame denim jeans. I live in these. I have them in black, I have them in white, I have them in light blue and I have them in this color. And I find this shade is my most versatile piece because I can wear black with it and it looks quite chic. But then I can also put a classic white shirt or t-shirt with them and they, they still look really fun and spring-like and and they're just so comfortable. They grab me in all the right places and I'll help mask the places that I don't particularly like on my body. So yeah, my all time number one favorite pair of jeans. So, and as I said, all the products are linked in the video description box below, but remember only buy what you love, value, use and appreciate. I love that mantra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then responsible shopping only. Mm -hmm. And of course, don't forget to go and check out Jamie's channel and... Because we're going to be doing a video over there sharing three of our favourite summer wardrobe essentials and how we wear them now. And I can't wait to show you what I've got. <laughs>